A Prairie Du Sac man with terminal cancer has one dying wish. He's asking for Christmas cards to help him cope. His request has reached hundreds, including three men from Milwaukee. Fox 6 is actually serious this year to explain what they did next that has connected the strangers through an act of kindness. Yeah, the three men saw Gene Whitenhiller's story shared on Facebook, and instead of just sending him a card, they had something else in mind to try and make him smile. It was the best, the best decision we ever made. If you've ever wondered what compassion looks like. We was happy. We was feeling joyful. Like, man, y'all believe what we just did? Look no further than these three Milwaukee men. It was so beautiful. It was just, it was so amazing. After seeing Gene White and Hiller's story shared on Facebook. An over overwhelming outpouring of love and support from people that I've never met, probably never will. They knew they wanted to help grant the man's dying wish to receive Christmas cards. I was just like, how can I make this man day better? How can I make him smile? Instead of sending the cards in the mail, the two brothers and cousin dropped what they were doing and drove two and a half hours to Prairie du Sac. We used everything we had in our pockets to put in the gas tank, to uh, buy, the, buy the Christmas cards. Hand delivering the cards to a stranger who touched their hearts. He teared up because we were the only people that came to actually see him. He got a lot of letters in the mail, but we were the only people who actually showed up at his doorstep. Together, they prayed, shared stories, and showed support. My car said, from the bottom of my heart and all the way from Milwaukee, we want to bring you prayers and let you know that we care. Three men giving a gift of kindness, but getting something more powerful in return. It made me look at my life so different. I learned so much. And those men shared their own story on Facebook. They said they did not do it for attention, but to set an example for young people in Milwaukee, showing kindness can change lives. Stephanie. We need great examples, just like those young men. Well done. Thanks, Ash.